All right, so here's the single case solution for the ambiguous case. When they give us two sides and an opposite angle, that's not SAS. That's different. We're going to use law of cosines for this one. So two sides and then an angle. So um, two adjacent sides and then one of the opposite angles. Uh, start, always build your triangle this way to see if you can even do it. Start with your angle. Here's my 42-ish degrees angle. Uh, this is going to be my side A. I'm going to put side B up here, so this has to be 12 inches. This is some unknown length at this point. I'm going to solve for it. Um, because this is uh, 22, there's no way for us to get a 22-inch side and have an acute angle here. So it has to be an obtuse angle. So A is 22. So we have to have an obtuse angle. That's like this case here. It's um, this one, where it's um, A, this side is greater than our B. All right, so there's one solution. Um, now to solve this, all we got to do is set up our ratio. Sine A over A equals sine B over B, which is um, sine of 42 over 22 equals sine of b over um, 12. And that gives us, um, multiply both sides by 12. So I get sine of b equals uh, 12 times sine of 42 over 22. You gotta make sure that you're in degree mode and that gives you approximately um, 0.36498. You leave that value in your calculator, and what you should do is sine inverse both sides, because this is sine of b equals that. So I want to do the sine inverse. And that gives us um, sine inverse of point whatever was in your calculator gives you approximately 21.41 degrees. All right, so we have that angle. Uh, this is B, 21.41 degrees. And then we would subtract these two from 180. So 180 minus 63.41 is uh, 116.59, I think. Yep, and then um, we can also set up one of these and solve for our third side. All right, I'm not going to do it, but I'll just show you how you would set it up, and you'd solve similarly to this or in class. So you could use, uh, don't use any of your rounded values if you can help it. So we're going to use um, sine, but you can't really help it here because you need to use this angle. Sine of A over A equals sine of C over C. So that gives us um, sine of 42 over 12, or 22 rather, equals sine of angle C, 116.59 over side C. Number, 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 cross multiply and solve for C.